Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brown from the BTN HD. And yes, my top 10 Windows 10 features for Redstone 2, which is going to be the latest push for everyone that is running Windows 10. Uh, most likely, this update is going to be coming out around mid March or April 2017. So it's, it's coming. Uh, I think the last kind of big update that they pushed out was uh build 15042 which i actually got it right now running on my virtual machine so i'm going to show you guys right now so i'm going to do a win ver and i'm actually running uh version 1607 build 15042 which i updated today and this build actually fixes a lot of problems that they had on old builds uh, but it looks like it's getting close to the final version for that Redstone 2. So I'm going to go over my top 10 that I am super excited about, okay? And I have my little list right here written down because, you know, I'm getting old and I forget. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm kind of excited is uh, the 3D print. Uh, if you go inside the windows and we go into the print 3D, uh, it looks like Microsoft is really pushing into the 3D print world. Uh, this application works well with Windows Phone users because it looks like Microsoft created a Windows Capture 3D Experience app that allows you to capture stuff and then import it here and you're able to modify and customize it the way that you want it with 3D, which is awesome. Uh, in the future, they are planning to release an Android and an Apple uh, app for this so I'm excited when it comes out for the Android or for the iOS now top number nine in my list is the so-called f dot lux which is what we've seen within the iOS and other like Linux it allows you to change the temperature within your environment uh, if we go inside settings and we go to all settings and within let's say where are you system and we go inside display. They gave this this nice little feature that's called nightlight. Uh, by default, it's turned off. You could turn it on. and But inside the settings, this is what you're going to get. You can actually schedule it, which is something that we've seen within Apple devices. If you have an Apple device, you're able to customize it the way that you want it within a schedule. But uh, I, I like this feature a lot because I'm always using my desktops late at night. Top number eight is all about gaming. Again, if you go inside the settings or all settings app, uh, they gave you a new feature with gaming. This is all about optimizing the Windows 10 game features within the Windows Store and also integrate it with Xbox games. Uh, as you can see, they gave you the game bar, which gives you more control, keyboard shortcuts. The game DVR has improved a lot throughout all the build. Hopefully, when it releases out for the final build for everyone that's using Windows 10, it works. <laughs> Broadcasting is a huge thing right now. Us individuals, I love to live stream. So this is huge. Uh, and the game mode, again, allows you to optimize your gaming experience. Top number seven on my list is all about the Microsoft Edge. I'm not a huge Internet Explorer or a Microsoft Edge uh, user. I'm always installing Chrome or Firefox within my Windows 10 environment. But Microsoft is really pushing uh, Microsoft Edge to everyone. They even give you a tool tip when you install Chrome or Firefox to say, do you really want to install this? You know, Edge is faster and stronger. You should be using this because it's safer. Top number six on my list again is within the settings app. And a lot of a lot of my tops are coming from the all settings app is because this is this is our control panel. This is where everything happens. And one of the things that I love uh, about the new Redstone 2 update is the updates. They have provide us more options to control our Windows updates. You know, it's one of those things in the past, Windows updates were pushing out to us automatically and we did not know what was happening. So we're gaming and all of a sudden your machine is rebooting. Uh, with the latest updates within the builds, uh, they, they're giving us active hours, which has increased. It used to be eight hours and 10 hours, and now they're giving us 18 hours, which is the max. And that's awesome. Also, within advanced options, you get more options right now. Uh, you're able to give updates for Microsoft products when the update windows come about. 
you can actually pause your updates to a certain time, only to 35 days. This is kind of risky because once you enable it, you're going to get all those updates pushed down to your machine, and that's going to be a bottleneck on your network. So I don't really recommend that. Uh, so, again, Windows updates have been changed a lot to fit our environment and I'm really liking that. Now top number five on my list is all about the registry editor. Now we're going to a Windows R command and we type in reg edit. There it goes. Hit enter. Uh, I'm going to hit yes on this. Awesome. And with the reg editor they gave you a nice location bar. This is pretty cool when I'm doing those videos for you guys that I'm showing you all about the registry hack rather than like navigating here just type it out and just hit enter and it would just take you there which is a cool feature for me. Top number four on my list it looks like command prompt is not going to exist. It still exists within the Windows 10 environment but it looks like the D4 commandlet or command prop window is going to be PowerShell and if you right click on your start menu you're not going to see command prompt anymore you're going to see Windows PowerShell admin or Windows PowerShell so that's going to be the default and I'm really liking this because I'm a huge PowerShell fan and, and it's very powerful as long as you know all the commandlets. Now with Windows 10 uh, they gave us snipping tool which is actually a tool that was given to us within the Windows environment and don't get me wrong, it's an awesome desktop app that allows you to take pictures on the fly. Uh, but it's one of those things that you always have to find the application to start a new and then highlight something to capture an image. Or you could do a print screen. With the Mac environment, you have to do like a command. I believe it's like Alt-Shift and number four and you get like a cursor to highlight and it copies it which is awesome and within the windows environment which is my top number three they gave us windows shift s so if you do a windows shift s you're going to get a nice little cursor and you highlight what you want and what's going to happen is that screenshot is going to be copied to your clipboard and then you can take your clipboard and then copy it or paste it somewhere else like a word document it's an extra step but it's pretty cool i would like for microsoft to actually upgrade that feature to when you take the snapshot it drops it inside your desktop just like the mac environment top number two on my list is all about hyper v manager windows 10 is huge with hyper v manager right now and i'm super excited about this a couple of things that i know off the bat with hyper v manager within the windows 10 environment if you're able to connect to one of your hyper v servers or hypervisors it allows you to create a virtual machine on the on a spot uh, it gives you an option right here within the actions to create a virtual machine. It gives you a nice little wizard. It's quick. It's simple. I love that feature a lot within the new build. Top number one in my list is, again, within the settings app. A lot of the cool features are always within the settings app. Uh, so let's go inside all settings and let's go inside system and within system you're going to go to storage and one of the cool features that I really like about Windows 10 especially if you're dealing with a virtual machine and you don't have a lot of space uh, storage sense it analyzes your storage and if you have certain things that could be deleted it will warn you like for me because I'm always upgrading my Windows Insider Preview I have old content that could be deleted and it warns me and it deletes it and it frees up space for me to continue upgrading my virtual machine with the latest build I love this feature a lot uh, another extra feature that I really like is within the start menu it looks like Microsoft gave us an option to create folders within the tiles so if you take any particular folder let's say Microsoft Edge and I just put it right on top of mail. It, it creates a folder. It creates a nice little folder. Uh, that's a little geeky for me, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, but it's it's really up to you if you're going to take advantage of that feature. Now, there's a lot more features within the build that are very worth using. Uh, for me, these are my top 10 that I like so far that I'm pretty excited to see for Redstone 2 for the final build that's coming out pretty soon. If you guys are testing out any of the builds and you've seen any of the features and you like using those features, leave a comment right below. Let me know and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.